Welcome to Black to Basics. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 clothes from my closet that gives me comfort and confidence whenever I wear them. These clothes have been in my closet for the past 5 years. The whole intent of this video is for me to show to you that it is possible to have clothes in your closet that would last you years of your life and will not have to depend on trends. Whatever it is that should last in your closet should be defined by you, it should be based on your lifestyle, what you like to wear, what gives you comfort, and of course, confidence. I will be sharing with you 5 different categories of clothes. These are my favorite pants, favorite shirts, or tops, my favorite swimwear, then my favorite rompers, and dresses. So I got these pants from Uniqlo because I needed a new pair of pants for work. And I chose this because this is high-waisted and it is not light-fitting, but it gives that structure that kind of highlights your waist and your hips. When I bought this, I don't really have hips yet because I was too skinny. And wearing this kind of made me feel like I'm not that I'm not too skinny. Next is this mustard yellow pants from Uniqlo. I was looking for something that is soft, something that's light, and something that will add a little bit of color in my closet. It, this is a collaboration between Uniqlo and other artist Hannah Tajima, if I still remember her name right. It is so easy to pair with shirts and crop tops because this is kind of high-waisted because as a 5 foot one Filipina, you want to look as tall as possible. And one way to do that is to get pants or shorts that are really high-waisted. For me, my rule is the higher the better. <laughs> Just to create that illusion that you have long legs. And it has been working well for me for the past years and I think I will never ever wear um, pants that are not high-waisted even if it becomes trendy again. Never! <laughs> so let's now go to my favorite tops. The first one is this very versatile piece from La Ocean. It's not just something that I wear at the beach but I also wear it here in the city when I hang out with friends, when I lounge at home. I, I, when it's summer, when it's rainy, this is something that I always put on. It's easy to wear with my high-waisted pants because here in the Philippines, it's always hot, it's humid. You want something that makes you feel cool and this is one of the reasons why I like this so much. So now we have here this top. My best friend and I got this in Mindanao before. We are still at the time when we are building our careers and this is our way of telling people that we will hold on to our principles and delay being jaded as much as we can. Right now, I would say that I'm already jaded, but I still love that shirt. And my last top is this one from For Me. I love this top because it is different from what I usually wear. This one has ruffles in it. I feel like it highlights my feminine side more and it also works well with a lot of the pants and shorts that I already wear. Now we have here my favorite swimwear. It got in the top 10 because it's so functional. I love the whole design of this, this swimwear because even though it's revealing, it's, it's revealing like look at the back, it's backless. It's still designed in a way that you could really swim in it. But aside from wearing this as a swimwear, I also wear this as a top whenever it's so hot here in the Philippines and I just want something that will make me feel cool. I wear it with skirts, I wear it with pants. So now we have here my favorite rompers. I only have two and I have it here in black and in gray. And I call the rompers the slightly inconvenient sisters of dresses. Because just like dresses, it is one piece of clothing and wear it and you're done. You're, you're ready to go outside but it's just hard when you have to go to the bathroom because it's in one piece. Putting that aside, I really love rompers because here in the Philippines, when it rains, I'm sure you are going to get wet. I always wear this when it's raining just to make sure that my legs are not soaking wet. For some reason, this gray one, I always wear this when I'm in Baguio. I think it's because my best friend gifted me a gray scarf and I feel like this one works well with that gray scarf. This black one, I usually wear this here in Manila when I meet with my friends because I love pairing it with um, a denim jacket. So now we're down to the dresses. This one is a very young looking dress. When you go out wearing this, you will feel like you are in your early 20s. And this one is what I call the tita dress. When you go out there wearing this, it means that you are not a force to be messed with. You are a tita and you should be respected. <laughs> okay, so I really like this dress because I don't usually have patterns. This is one of the very few items that have patterns in it and I feel like 
the pattern is already overwhelming on itself for me. That's why when I wear this dress, I don't really put on anything else. Unless it's raining, I would put on a jacket. But if it's just a normal normal day, I would just wear this dress, put on my shoes, grab a bag, and leave the house. And that's why I love this dress because I don't have to do so much styling with this and I already look put together. And now we go to this Tita dress. I bought this for only 20 pesos in Baguio City back when linen clothing were not yet that mainstream. But it's already popular in Pinterest. I like just wearing this on its own and then just wearing a pair of slippers and bring my echo bag with me and then just head out of the house and just go do the grocery shop. That's it guys. I felt like that's one of the uh, the longest videos that I ever made. But before I close this video, I just want to ask help from you guys to uh, leave a feedback below or on my other videos if you can. If there's a way that I could still improve my content or the editing and the delivery. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.